everyone, my name is Brooke and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here today because we are talking more Disney College program and specifically apps that you should download whether you're doing a Disney College program, Disney Cultural Exchange program, Academic Exchange program, Cultural Representative program, whatever you are doing. If you are new here, like I said, my name is Brooke. I am a three-time alumni of the Disney Cultural Exchange program where I worked in merchandise as a character attendant and in attraction at Smuggler's Run and I will be going back in just over two weeks where I will be doing a cultural representative program working in the Canada Pavilion in Epcot and I am so excited and we are actually not alone today say hi to Charlie he is joining us oh you know I know you, oh, you're such a good helper. There are 10 different apps that I definitely believe you should download that are gonna help you out so much on your program. And I do wanna say though that a lot of these apps are only available in the US App Store. So they're only available if your phone is set to the USA. I have an iPhone and to be able to download these apps, I actually have a secondary Apple account where I signed up for years and years ago. Um, so I don't know, I've heard maybe you can't do this anymore to make a second Apple account with US as your location. But if you do wanna try making a secondary account, um, you may have to wait till you get down there because you do have to put in billing information and I believe it only lets you do that with a US address. So once you get down to the States and are living in Flamingo, um, if you use your pay card that they give you, you can put in your American address with that and it should work that way to make the US account. I just switch my phone quickly to the US app store and then switch it back to my normal Apple account once I have the apps that I want downloaded. So without further ado, let's actually get into the apps. The very first app is probably the most obvious one and if you are a Disney World goer you probably have this downloaded on your phone already and it is the My Disney Experience app and this is the app you are going to use whether you are a cast member or a guest accessing the parks. This is the app where you're going to find everything about attraction wait times, you can book dining reservations, you can see where the closest things are to you whether that be the washroom or quick service locations, you can do quick service mobile orders, you can do mobile checkout in merchandise locations and so many more things that I can't even name everything the app does. If you want to purchase Genie Plus, if you want to get a boarding group for Guardians of the Galaxy or Tron, all that is going to be on this app. So of course it is a must have. You can also use Disney's Mobile Magic on this app um, if your phone does allow that. So you can, you don't need a park like physical ticket essentially or a magic band, you can use your phone to get into the park. So my Disney experience, safe to say, one of the most important apps that you're gonna use, this is like mandatory to download this app for your program. If you're gonna be spending any time in the parks at all, you need this app on your phone. If you are a Disney cast member, you want to access your schedule, you want to learn more things about the company, you want to learn things about work, you need to call out, anything like that, you're going to use Cast Life or Disney Cast Life. This app is the hub, which is the system Disney uses um, for all their cast members and all the information you could possibly need about being a cast member. Once you get working, you'll be able to log into this app with your work username and password, and then you'll have access to all of that right on your phone. And trust me, this app was so, so needed. I'm so glad they made this app because it was a pain before trying to log into the hub on your mobile device, but you can do it now on your phone in the Cast Life app, and it is wonderful. Highly recommends. This app though is one of the ones that is only available in the US App Store. For Disney program students who are going to be taking the buses, you will definitely want to download Paseo Go. This is the app where you're going to find all the bus schedules. You're going to find live tracking information. So if you want to know where a bus is, you can follow it on its route. You can see the schedule so you know which bus you're going to need to take and what time it comes at. Obviously very important. You're also going to get updates on this app. If a bus is delayed, they'll send you a notification. There's also phone numbers on there if you do need to call the transportation place for bus information or anything like that. Paseo Go is going to be that go-to app for you so that you are able to know when you need to go and to take the bus. When you are hired on the Disney program, you get a choice of doing direct deposit into a US bank bank account or getting a pay card. I obviously choose the pay card because I don't have a US bank account since I'm not a US citizen. So this is the easiest option for me to get my pay on. The pay card is a 
pay as you go basically MasterCard. It works exactly like any sort of debit account. You can use it on online purchases, in-person purchases at the grocery store, at Disney, wherever you need to use it. It's just a debit card essentially that Disney gets you that your pay automatically gets direct deposited onto. This pay card is through the company North Lane. So I highly recommend you get the North Lane app. This is going to help you track how much money is on your pay card, how much you've been spending, and just keep record of all your purchases, see when that paycheck gets deposited. It's essentially like an online banking app. So you are definitely gonna wanna download that. I love using it for budgeting. Obviously budgeting, very important on Disney programs because let's be honest, it can be very, very difficult sometimes to properly budget on the Disney programs because some of the costs, especially when it comes to rent and such, are very high. So you do need to make sure you're making those smart money decisions. So it's always nice. I like to keep track of exactly how much I have on my account. You just open the app and your balance is right there. It's so much easier than having to call a phone number or log in online on an actual desktop computer. Very simple and easy on the app. Parcel Pending is an app with two purposes, and this is an app I highly recommend you download before you even get to Disney, right after you get your lease signed. Flamingo Crossings is gonna email you a lease for whichever room type you have, you're gonna sign that, and then about 24 hours later, you're actually going to be able to do this hack on the app where you can figure out where your room actually is and your potential room number. But let's first get into what the app is actually supposed to be used for. So in Flamingo Crossings, there are some really cool parcel rooms. They're like hardcore high-tech rooms that what you can do is when you get a package, let's say I get an Amazon package mailed to me at Flamingo Crossings, um, I'm going to get a notification on my phone that the package was delivered. Now that you know you have a delivered package, you're going to open the parcel pending app. It's going to show a barcode and a number. You're going to go to the parcel room and what you're going to do is go up to the little kiosk thing there. You're either going to scan the barcode or type in the number and a random door is gonna pop open in the parcel room and you're just gonna be able to take out your package. There is also a way to do it via email, but the app just makes it a lot easier. Now for our little hack. When you are placed in a physical room, your parcel pending is activated, essentially. So when Flamingo, you know, like, does on their end whatever they need to do to be able to place you in a physical room after you've signed your lease, your information is set into parcel pending. Normally you don't get to know your room number, your building, whether you're in Flamingo East or West, any of that until actual like move-in day or on your itinerary sometimes, like you're not gonna know. But with this app, you can maybe figure it out a little bit in advance. This does not work for everyone, but it works for most people. It's worked for myself. A lot of people say it doesn't work for alumni. I lived in Flamingo last year and about 24 hours I signed after I signed my lease, it worked for me. You're gonna go and open the app. You're gonna hit forgot password where it says username after you have forgot password. That's gonna be your email address. So you're gonna type it in. If you hit then hit submit and it says um, your not email isn't in the system yet, it means they haven't placed you in a room yet. But if you hit submit and it works, it's gonna send an email to your email address to reset the password. Of course, follow the steps to reset the password, log in with your email as your username and your new password, go to my profile, scroll down, and it's gonna show your building and unit number. Um, and then based off of that, you can find out whether you are in Flamingo East or Flamingo West. If your address says Sandpiper Landing Way, that means you are in East, and I believe it's something pigeon something if you are in West. Now let's be clear. Now small disclaimer that I just wanna put in here, don't share this information with anyone. People love for some reason to post their building numbers and their room type in the Facebook groups online that have like 10,000 plus people in them. Don't do this, this is a bad idea. Even your building number. Like, first off, don't post your whole room number. That's, don't do that. Don't even post your building number. I know you wanna see who your roommates are, but it's just not worth the safety risk. Um, it's, it's just not, so please do not do it. Also know this number is subject to change, so it's not 100% that that's gonna be the room you moved into, but it is very likely. Next up we have GroupMe, and GroupMe is a great app also to download before you get there to help find you friends and maybe a roommate that you potentially want to link with as well. So if you download GroupMe, go on the Facebook groups and just like search GroupMe and you'll get a whole 
whole bunch of different groups that have been created of people. They're just chat groups. So essentially like WhatsApp or just like a messenger app, but there are these big chat groups that have been created of general DCP, certain arrival dates, certain roles, um, certain specific interests, people who want to go to Universal, people who are looking to go to church together, like a whole bunch of different things. There's so many different group me's and group me's are a really great way to start interacting with people and also meet people that have similar interests to you. So when you get down there, there might be a few people that maybe you want to meet up on move-in day and that's a really, really great way to start making some friends while you're there. So if you are really looking to make a lot of friends or not sure how you're going to make friends once you go down there, you don't know anyone, you want to start getting to know people before the program even starts, definitely get group me and get into some of those groups. Disney Movie Insiders. And you're like, Brooke, how could, how could this app possibly help me with my Disney college program? Let me tell you. Disney Movie Insiders is an app available to everyone. Even if you're not on Disney programs, I still highly recommend you download this app, whether you are or you are not. Disney Movie Insider is an app where you can earn reward points. So these reward points come from so many things. If you buy a physical copy of like a DVD of a Disney movie, it'll come with a sheet with a code inside. You can enter that code into the app and get points. If you go see a movie in the theaters, you can scan in your ticket and you'll earn points. Also, sometimes random points just get sent to you. Disney puts out codes all the time on the Disney Movie Insider's Facebook page of just like words that you can type in and it's like a secret code for like five or 10 points or something like that. If you get emails from Disney Movie Insiders every month, there's a bonus points offer in your emails of a specific code for you personally to enter in your email that'll give you a certain number of points. All these points add up very quickly may I tell you, if you put a movie ticket in, it's minimal 150 points. If you put a movie in, I think it's like 200 points or something like that. And then the other codes just add up. I personally have been able to accumulate quite a few points and I never buy DVDs and I like never go to the movies. So these are just the free offer points. You can redeem these points for Disney gift cards or other Disney merchandise. I always go for the gift cards because that's the most useful thing to me, but 500 points is a $5 Disney gift card, 1,000 points is a $10 Disney gift card. If you get like really, really like tens of thousands of points, you can like, you can trade them in for like VIP Disney tours and stuff sometimes, um, or just really cool exclusive merchandise. And I like doing the gift cards and saving them for my Walt Disney World trips or my programs because $5, like that's a coffee, you know? It's essentially free money for taking like two minutes a week to go and find the code and type it in. It's so easy, so simple, and literally gets you free money. And on the Disney College program, trust me, those gift cards can go a long way. Uber or Lyft. You are gonna want some sort of ride service, ride sharing app. And even if you aren't using it all the time, in case of some sort of emergency situation, you wanna have these apps on your phone. There's so many different reasons. So obviously if you get stranded somewhere, um, you're gonna want some sort of ride sharing app. Or if you wanna go to Universal, you're gonna need some sort of ride sharing because there's no direct transportation from Disney housing to Universal. So you're gonna need an Uber or a Lyft or make a friend with a car. If sometimes the bus doesn't show up, you may need to Uber. Let's say the bus is very full at the end of the day after you're done work and there isn't a spot for you on the bus. You're gonna have to wait another like half hour for the next bus to come. You might want an Uber. It's gonna be like 10, $15. You might want an Uber. If you and a bunch of friends from work, like let's say there's four of you that all wanna split that $15 Uber to go home a lot faster because the bus doesn't come for another half hour, it's nice to have Uber on your phone because you'll pay for like a three, four dollar Uber ride and get home so much faster. Because those bus rides are, I think my bus ride from Hollywood Studios is like 45 minutes both ways. Like 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back. They're long bus rides and you don't always want to take a bus. Um, I know sometimes I got bus sick. So if I had like a really bad headache, I knew I was going to like not feel too great on the bus. So I would just take an Uber home. They're a really great solution. Um, obviously, be careful, like Uber safety, Lyft safety, like just because it's in Disney doesn't mean it's perfect. But so just be aware of your surroundings like you would. Um, tell someone you're getting into an Uber, all that kind of stuff. But definitely have the app downloaded because it will help you out. UV Lens is an app I use all the time in Disney, at home, 
all the time. It tells you the UV level on the side. You can put in your skin type. It tells you how fast you're gonna burn. If you put on sunscreen, you can put in the details of that sunscreen, whether it's water resistant, what the SPF level is on it, all that stuff. And it's gonna tell you how often you need to apply that sunscreen so you're not getting burnt, how often you can stay out in the sun and how long you can stay out in the sun super important. It's Florida. The sun will burn you and it will burn you fast. So it is very important to know to keep your skin safe. Um, it tells you how long you can be out there to tan and not burn. Also really, really beneficial. Um, and it also sends you alerts. So let's say you do put on sunscreen and it's like 80 minutes till you need to apply again. In 80 minutes, it'll actually send you an alert to your phone. So you know then that you need to apply again. So you're not forgetting, which is really helpful. And then app number 10 is the Play Disney app. This app is used while you're in line in the parks or just hanging out in the parks for fun. And also if you have a Magic Band Plus, this app is really, really useful and just for fun. There's This, this app is simply for entertainment purposes, but I highly recommend getting it whether you're on vacation or on a Disney program. So while you're in line for certain attractions, there are games you can play on your phone to help you pass the time, along with just games you can play throughout the park. Um, there's actually a really really cool one I highly recommend playing on the Millennium Falcon and if you play it on the Millennium Falcon it actually interacts with the ship so the actual Falcon like the physical thing makes noises when you're playing the thing on the app and doing all this stuff it's really cool there's stuff like that all throughout the parks you can also play bounty hunters if you have a magic man plus in galaxy's edge um, I won't spoil what that is but it's a really fun game this is what you can use to collect all your fab 50 statues which I'm actually not hundred percent sure are still there I think they are but I'm not hundred percent sure I haven't been to the park since the 50th anniversary ended we used to be able to scan and collect all the fab 50 statues statues and it's it's just a fun little activity in the parks really great especially if the parks are really really busy and the lines are really long um, it helps pass the time or gives you just a little bonus activity to do and those are the 10 apps that I recommend you get for the Disney college program or Disney program whichever one you are doing I truly cannot wait for my Disney program if you haven't already make sure you go subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be posting so many Disney program vlogs information videos all that fun stuff. So thank you again so much for watching and I hope you have a magical rest of your day.